to my channel, I am Buzz Weekly. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Niwo NW700 condensing microphone. It's a pretty nice microphone that I bought off of Amazon for just under $35. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to buy it. Let's get on with this unboxing. So it comes in a pretty nice box. It says Niwo right on the cover. Uh, I'm going to go cut these uh, tape tabs and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so now that the tabs are actually cut, I'm going to go ahead and open the, up the box. Right off the bat on this thing, you can actually see uh, the pop filter, the microphone in the right corner, and the shock mount um, right at the end of the pop filter. So first thing I'm going to look at is the actual pop filter. And uh, this looks pretty nice quality. But um, the thing I'd say, it's like... The material it's made out of isn't that nice. I mean, it's like this plastic thing. I feel like it's going to break on me if I use it too much, but I am I think it's going to be okay. It feels like a plastic right around the rim. So, um, if yeah, it feels a little flimsy. Uh, this is the um, um, clamp that comes with it that actually attaches to the um, mic stand. And um, on the pop filter... It's a little, like, squishy. It's not actually one of those metal ones. So that's pretty good. It has a couple layers as well. Here is the actual clamp that the mic stand attaches to. And I have it clamped to the side of my desk. It's it's a little confusing to get on when you first get it. Because um, it has two different, um, like, turning things on it. And it's just hard to tell which one is which. Uh, the one that I'm turning right now clamps it on the desk. And this one that I'm turning, you slide the, um, the clamp into it. Uh, you slide the, um, newer stand into it, and then you tighten it so it stays in. Uh, here is the windscreen, um, that I got. It uh, seemed a little bent. That's probably just because it was under the actual stand. Um, yeah, you can see it doesn't look that qu high quality, but it's just a windscreen, so it, you know, it doesn't need to be that, qu um, high quality. It's just going to help um, the, my audio sound a bit better. Next thing I'm going to take out is the actual mic arm. Um, the first thing I noticed about this thing was it, it's very high quality metal. And it's actually really hard to move. Like, I have trouble moving it right now. It's Like, I can't close it. Um... That's, well, I figured out how to do it later, but, um, when I first unboxed it, it just seemed very hard to move. That could just be mine, um, I might need to put, like, some oil on it so it loosens it up, but, um, that's, that's, like, something bad about this thing. Oh, it's also something good, cause, um, it doesn't shake around. When I move it to a position, it doesn't actually move. And this thing right here is what I put the shock mount on, and I twist it in. That's where the microphone goes. And this is where the clamp goes on this end. And these are the springs. They seem pretty high quality. And yeah. The next thing we have is the shock mount. This is what the microphone actually goes into. Uh, it seems pretty high quality. Uh, again, it seems to be made out of a plastic or metal. I can't really tell. It seems uh, like a metal. So it comes in a closed bag. If you ordered it from Amazon, it could be different if you ordered it from the actual Niwoo website. So once I take it out of the bag, um, you can see that there is this little um, cable. No, not cable. Um, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, yeah, that band thing. Uh, it attaches to the actual mic stand, and it seems pretty high quality. Uh, it seems easy to use. Uh, yeah. Those things are, those are the bands that I was talking about. And, um, they seem to work well, and they're very sturdy, so that's actually what's going to keep my mic, like, uh, good. So when I shake it around, it's not going to make too much noise. And, yeah. Here is another cable, which I plug into my Phantom Power Supply, and I also plug that into my computer, into the mic, um, spot, so it, I will actually be able to record audio.
and here is the mic itself. It seems really high quality. It's um, pretty weighted, more, better than the NW800. Um, yeah, it has a really sturdy uh, build. The metal around the actual mic part seems really sturdy. It seems like it's going to be a fingerprint magnet, though. Uh, it's already picking some up. But, I mean, I'm not going to hold it. It's just going to be in the stand anyway, and I'll have my windscreen over some of it. So, yeah, I think it's going to be fine. As you can see, it has a logo on it, and it's a condenser microphone, so I can use it uh, on any side. There's the mail um, port, which I'll plug um, a couple of my cables into, and then I'll plug that into the computer so it will actually work. So, that is... Um, Basically it for the box. All I see is the like instructions that says facts about the um, actual microphone. I don't think I need that. Thank you so much for watching this video. I think this is a really good mic and I'll recommend it to any beginners who want to just get a good um, audio quality. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment down below on what you'd like to do. Uh, what you'd like me to do in my next video. Thanks for watching!